Welcome to Scorched Earth and a general reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon or Ascendant for the month of January 2023. Happy New Year, hope you're well. I'm using the Pagan Otherworlds Tarot for you today. Um, just want to remind you that the six month overviews that I did for each of the signs are available. That's actually the second link in the description box. The first link in the description box will be to the extended if, it, uh, if the reading that we're about to do resonates with you and you would like to go deeper that's available for you as the first link six month overviews second link and the third link is to my private community the order of the phoenix over on circle so if you're interested in scoping that out do feel free to do so right a little <sighs> sometimes the smoke just goes straight up and out of the window and other times it just blathers all over the place this crow scare is out. Anyway, stop blathering. Let's get on with uh, with this for you. Can I have three cards for Pisces, please? Thank you. There's the first one. We've got the Ace of Pentacles in your recent past. I have current energy for Pisces, please. Thank you. We have the Strength card. She's not that. It's not that weird for you because. There always seems to be a Leo card in your reading somewhere. Like there's a really strong Leo influence. Anyway, what's coming towards Pisces, please, for January? <clears throat> Thank you. We have two cards. We have the Two of Wands and we have the Lovers card. So we've got Gemini energy there with the Lovers. We've got the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck there, which is Virgo. Certainly seem to have your mind on something. Now, for some of you... I do think where the, 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 what you're looking at at the moment is something financial. So we've got those two pentacle cards, but let's get some let's get some clarifiers out. Let's see what's going on here. We've got the ace of pentacles <clears throat> and the page of pentacles to clarify. One more for the ace of pentacles, please. Thank you. We've got oh interesting. We've got the chariot in reverse. Tell me about the strength card. There's the strength card here for. Pisces, we have the Knight of Wands. So much movement in this reading. Nice. Thank you. And the Seven of Cups. And then tell me about the Two of Wands and the Lovers card, please. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles again. Holy shit. And one more, please. And we've got the Knight of Swords now as well. There is so much movement here, Pisces. I can't even... We've got the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So what is abundantly clear before we even really get started is that there is something new that you are trying to bring about for yourself. Now, the presence of so many Pentacles cards could suggest that there is something that you're saving for, something that you're trying to put money together for, but it doesn't have to be just money. It, it could be talking about in terms of attention, really, what it is that you're turning your attention to. And there's certainly... An energy of the new about everything that you're doing at the moment. Now, we've got the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. The only Knight that we're missing is the Knight of Cups, which is you, interestingly. Um, and I wonder if it's Mercury Retrograde that is causing the backwards and forwards that I'm seeing going on here. Because if the Chariot was in the... I'm going to flip this around so you can see what I'm looking at, right? It's a bit of a mess. Anyway, if the chariot was in the upright position, I'd be like, this is a go. Whatever you're doing, it's a go. Just go. Just do the thing. It's all sound. But... Oh, the fucking camera's twisted. All right, I'm going to turn it that way so everything's actually straight. Um, <clears throat> but it's not. The chariot's in reverse, which means whatever you've been trying to get off the ground in the recent past, and by recent past I could mean as early, well, as recently as this morning before you watched this, but also maybe it's up to six weeks ago, right? This is when this has all been put into motion. Whatever you've been trying to get off the ground has come to somewhat of an abrupt halt. That's what the chariot in reverse talks about here. So we've got these two pentacle cards here, page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, both indicating an initiatory energy about them both right the the ace of pentacles is the seed it is pure potential it is something totally new 
that you haven't experienced before. The Page of Pentacles is something that you already have that is going off in a different direction here, okay? So we've got a combination of taking something that you already have, whether that is your time, your care, your effort, your money, your love, potentially, and investing it in a different way, right? But also with this added Ace of Pentacles on the top. So there's, yeah, it's like putting energy and effort into something really, really new, right? Taking something you already have and, and really plowing it into this. But for whatever reason, it's come up short. Now, as I'm recording this, I don't think Mercury is quite, quite retrograde yet. Where are we? We're on the 28th of, uh, uh, 28th of December. And I think depending on where you are in the world, it's either the 29th or the 30th that it actually stations direct and then starts at least appearing to go backwards. And I'm not sure what it is about this particular Mercury retrograde, but it does seem like it's going to be a bit of a humdinger. I mean, some of them, they, they pass by and you don't even really notice them. Um, and then other times they come in and they just seem to affect everything. Now, this one is in Capricorn. So, you know, the fact that we've got so many pentacles showing up here is important because Capricorn is preoccupied with the uh, future, right? What the plans are for the future, how you're going to work to create what it is that you want for the future. And the general energy of this Mercury retrograde seems to be having everybody halted and going, you know, literally halt. Are you sure that this is where you want to go? Are you sure that this is the way that you want to invest in this? How, um, how do your day-to-day -day activities reflect your motivation? To go and do this and like do, do your you know does the uh what's the fucking word that i'm looking for ah uh, does your day-to-day -day routine support exactly what it is that you're wanting to do at this time because for whatever reason this is this has been a, this absolute halt here let me pull up another deck i'm gonna pull out the night sun <clears throat> and it says like you shall not pass you, you don't get to move any further down this road just yet. It feels to me like it's pause more than anything else. We've got the Knight of Wands, interesting. And we've got the King of Swords. <coughs> and honestly, with this Knight of Wands, all I'm feeling is a sense of frustration. I'm getting it twice off these two knights here. They want to be moving, they want to do something. Uh, even this, check out this King of Swords here, right? The decision's been made as far as you're concerned and now you just want to get on with it. But the universe is saying, no. Mercury retrograde is saying, no. You have to hold, you have to wait. You have to go back over your plans and make sure that they are uh, really solid. You know, my understanding of this Mercury retrograde is it, it's about making you go backwards. Sorry about the crow scares in the distance. Very fucking annoying. Um, so that when it goes direct again, you can take off pretty much vertically. You know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you want. Because it could be that you've been putting all of this energy into stuff, but actually it's... You haven't really known where you were going with it. It was just this sense of something having to change. Right? And being prepared to put in the work to make it change, for sure. But this feels like it's it's about getting really, really honed in on what you actually want and how you are going to achieve it, what you're going to, to bring about with this. But this this Knight of Wands just feels like a state of frustration to me. Like King of Swords is a bit like, fuck, as well. I mean, check him out. Like, literally shouting, like, I want to do this thing. Why can't I do this thing? So when we move into current energy, we've got the strength card and that does talk about growth and it t talks about personal development and whatnot. But sometimes it talks about things being really fucking hard and you needing to draw on reserves of strength in order to um, get through whatever's going on here with you. And if you are at the point where you're like, I want to do it now, I want to do it now and everything is, is, is suddenly turning up, you know, chariot in reverse, that's going to piss you off. And more than that, it feels like you're pissed off and confused as to why this might be the case. Now, um, 
that's not a comfortable position to be in. You know, one of the reasons why I started the looking for the lesson readings that that I've, um, I, I resurrected in uh, December was simply because when we don't know where we're going or we don't know why we're being stopped from going in any kind of direction, if we can't see the bigger picture as it's being portrayed to us, what we end up feeling like is that we're just smashing our heads against a fucking wall and you're just like, why? Why? I've got everything in place. Everything is all in order. Mercury retrograde in Capricorn says, mm, maybe it's not all of it. You know, come back over what you have already done. I mean, I feel like with this Knight of Wands and this Seven of Cups here, that the best course of action for you at, at this point would be to um, not exactly be resigned about it, but, but just understand that at this point you've been taken off the boil for whatever reason. And it isn't actually necessary for you to understand what the reason is for that, but an, a certain amount of openness to the possibility that your plans are going to be tweaked in some way over the next three weeks. I mean, we've got about two and a half weeks, I think, that Mercury is in retrograde, and then we have a two-week shadow period after, I have it before as well. Um, so realistically, it's going to be the end of January before this kind of energy starts to, to dissipate properly. I mean, it'll be dissipating from whenever it goes direct, and I'm sure that's about the 18th of January or something. Something like that, at least, anyway. I really should have the, a list of these dates just somewhere where I can see them so I could actually refer to them rather than trying to rely on my really piss-poor memory. But um, once it stations direct again, then the energy starts to wind down. It's still there, but it's winding down. So, you know, realistically, it's going to be the end of January before we're completely free of this. And you can fight it, and you can be frustrated about it. What do we have here? There you are. We've got the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Cups. There you are, doubled, actually. So even more fucking movement from the Knights. Like the presence of the knights as set off against the, the chariot in reverse, I think is important for you to understand. I mean, sometimes the knights show up as people, but I don't feel like that's what that is here. I think there's a there's a combination of different moves by you. You know, we've got a willingness to communicate here with the, the knight of swords. We've got information coming towards you, in fact, that might well change the nature of your investment. We have the Knight of Pentacles here being that willingness to commit to something. We have the Knight of Wands, which is having you actually doing the moving, right? It's the thing that gets you up off your ass. It's the creative inspiration, but it's the actual doing of the thing. And then we've got the Knight of Cups, which is not only you, but is also this sense of coming from a heart place, you know, coming from something, you know, coming from a place where you're, you're really emotionally invested in a thing. So here we are with the High Priestess, there's you again. And we have the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups, I feel, and I even feel the High Priestess is doing the same. You know, because they, they deal with the, the subjective experience of something, right? They're both watery, they're both very feminine, obviously. It's about how you feel about things. This Queen of Cups, interestingly, is pregnant, right? She's holding her bump there. And from that we get this idea of gestation, right? That thing that is, is being formed, you know, the baby, in that metaphorical sense. Whatever it is that you're working on, it's not quite baked yet. It's not quite ready to come out. Now, if you didn't have the energies of Mercury retrograde at play here, the chances off you would the chances are that you would go off exactly as you had planned to. But there would be a hiccup down the road somewhere. There would be some sort of issue with what it is that you're trying to create, whatever new start you're trying to create for yourself here. And you need an opportunity to smooth that out ahead of time. I want to just point out that we've got the uh, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck here. And it is saying that there is something that you need to learn about this situation before you move forwards. Right? Now, the 
The chariot is major arcana, right? So this is big universal energy that is happening at you. Everything else is minor arcana and therefore it becomes the responses that we have to this. Now, do you remember how I said that? I felt like this was real frustration with the, uh, with the Knight of Wands. It's almost like having energy and not having an outlet for it. Fuck me, I almost fell off my little stool. Um, Sorry, Silas. <laughs> I just really shocked Silas. Um, what? I didn't invite you in, but okay, you're here. That's fine. Hi, baby. I'm in the middle of something. I'm working. Can you let me get on with it? Yeah, got my done. <clears throat> the combination of the um, the combination of the frustration and the need to move, along with the confusion of why it's not happening. I think could make you feel pretty shitty. It might make you a little bit spiky in your dealings with other people. What I'm seeing about this little trifecta of cards down here is it's just like bring it down, bring it down to a to a light little simmer. You know, you, you don't have to be boiling here. Silas, really, stop photo bombing and video bombing the thing <clears throat> because this is all about being receptive. Right? Water is receptive. The high priestess is, is, you know, high receptivity. The queen of cups is high receptivity. It's like, let this play out. Right? The strength here for you is, is in not trying to fight everything. Right? You've got all of these knights. They're right here. The possibility of, you, of movement is not taken away from you. It's just delayed. It is blocked. The anchors have been slammed on for whatever reason. And whatever reason that is... I feel will become more clear to you over the course of time and if you can allow yourself to simmer down on something and go okay well I'm just gonna take a little three-week hiatus on whatever this is to allow whatever is coming to the surface to come up whatever it is that I need to learn <clears throat> everything's gonna move much more swiftly so is when we come into January we've got decisions that need to be made right both of these cards here speak about decision making we've got the two of wands which is a crossroads energy in and of itself and then we've got the lovers card which talks about union and all that sort of stuff right but in the original depictions of the cards there was actually one man and two women and, and it was called the choice or something like that and that uh, you know the man was being called to choose between the two women so it's decision making right here we've got two major cards of decision making and what we've got directly coming out after that is the six of cups in the reverse now this is interesting to me because i feel like it would make more sense just just briefly looking at it like that if it was in the upright because it would talk about going back to something in order to make a decision but it's not it's come out in the reverse which suggests to me that what you need to do is not go backwards some aspect of what you are planning to do some aspect of whatever this new thing is for you has involved in its current in its current iteration has involved going back to something now this could be going back to a situation, but it could be going back to a particular mindset. And we can see it being any one of these things. And I, and I say that specifically because we've got the Knight of Swords there. Now the Knight of Swords does deal with the transmission of information. It talks about new information coming to you. Now, in whatever way it is that you've been going backwards on something in order to go forwards, it's, kind of how it feels to me actually I, I want to pull another card because this is this is really fascinating it feels to me like that's not the right way to go yeah knight of swords is in the reverse clarifying that six of cups Sheesh. yeah i mean th that is abundantly clear we've got the uh, the knight of swords in reverse and we've got the five of swords here now the five of swords is or a way that you are thinking about something which is not actually congruent with the new start that you are trying to make. Now, the issue with that is that often we don't see that we're thinking about things in a very linear fashion or actually really a, a really circular fashion until we get shocked out of that pattern in some way.
And what I feel is, is really unclear to you at this point, as in this is the thing that you don't see, is how much of what you're trying to do that is new is wrapped up in an old mode of thinking that frankly needs to be left behind right? because it's not going to be a true new start not in the way that you want it to be at least you know <coughs> excuse me this often speaks to me of cognitive loops and like i said the problem with that is that often that we don't know that we're actually stuck in them so we've got the ace of pentacles and the knight of swords what do we have here well, two of wands three of wands ten of uh, ten of wands as well with the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck i mean it could well be <clears throat> that it's about the people that you're working with some aspect of that could be a nod to the past and actually it's like you've got to, you've got to find new people to work with on this one it could be that it's the fact that you're working with people at all and maybe this is something that you need to do for yourself pisces by yourself you know there's an understanding that there's work here to be done and it is hard work but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be utterly burdensome it can be something that you make into an art. Now, the decisions that need to be made by you, I feel, are as a direct result of going over the plan over and over again, such as it is. Where is the end destination for, for you know what you're trying to pull off here? Is there an end destination? Is the way that you are going about it on a day-to-day -day basis, is this supporting where you are going? Does it involve people? Should it involve people or should it not involve people? What part of an old version of you are you taking forwards? Or attempting to take forwards to such a degree that the universe has gone, nah, you need to stop. You need to take a few steps back, go back to the crossroads, go back to the decision making process and make sure that you're doing it in the right way because uh, despite the fact that this is the ten of wands i always feel like it's it's not quite as burdensome as the other versions of the ten of wands that we see just because it created this star what is the star well the star is often emblematic of the future right do you have the support that you think you have this would be another question that i would have like it's having you going back to this crossroads over and over again and thinking about the actions that you have planned on taking. Right? There's no king of wands here. It's about the queen of wands. And the queens are the internal subjective experience of doing that thing. So it's what you think you can do. Maybe it's what you think you can do on your own. Or what, it's what you think you can do with other people. You know, But the message is here that your new start is not cancelled per se. But it is postponed until such time as you uh, identify what it is that you're carrying forwards that frankly needs to be left behind. Which is very interesting. So I'm going to leave it here. <clears throat> I'm going to go over to Vimeo. If you want to join me, you're very, very welcome to do so. We're going to pull January apart a little bit and see if we can't come up with exactly what it is that is... Uh, is proving to be the issue for you so yeah sorry i'm just kind of sucked into this because it's a really interesting reading um, i'm gonna go because i want to go to vimeo and i want to play with this a little bit more so if you'd like to join me feel free to do so if you don't that's also fine the tldr of this is is just try and try and bring the boil down to a simmer and just wait and see, see what happens, you know? All right, know that I love you all very, very much, and I will see you soon.